Salmon seasons are an exciting time to chase some of Idaho's biggest sport fish, but they can also be confusing to a lot of anglers. Seasons may be a little different each year, and different river sections can have different rules. Seasons can change based on the number of returning salmon and the number of salmon harvested, sometimes on short notice. In part three of our series, we'll talk about some of the best ways to stay up to date during the salmon season. You'll see how to find what river sections are open, how big the run is, and what the catch rates are like so you can plan your next salmon fishing adventure. As a salmon angler, there's a number of things that you're likely interested in. How many fish are coming back? Where are they headed? And also, what are the conditions on the river whenever I want to get out there and go fishing? There's a variety of web pages out there that you can access this information, and we've highlighted a few here on the video. You can follow the salmon returns by checking the counts at Bonneville and Lower Granite Dams. From the Fish and Game homepage, hover your mouse over Fishing, then click on Chinook Fishing. Key information is on the menu on the left. Select Dam Counts. Typically, it takes about 14 to 17 days for salmon to swim up the Columbia River from Bonneville Dam to Lower Granite Dam, the last dam before entering Idaho. Travel time depends on water conditions and maybe longer when flows are high. It's easy to find out if salmon have started to arrive at Idaho hatcheries. From the Fish and Game homepage, select Fishing and Chinook Salmon. Hatchery returns are on the menu on the left. Here you can see counts of salmon trapped at each of the different hatcheries. Depending on the runs and the harvest numbers, salmon seasons can close within a few weeks of opening, so it's important to stay informed on what river sections are open. From the Chinook fishing page, select Seasons and Rules from the menu on the left. Here you can see which river segments are open. You can also see the season dates and bag limits for each section in the harvest zone table below. Clicking on the name of the river zone will bring up a detailed map of that river section along with current salmon season information. Another thing that anglers really like is to call our angler hotline. And to find what that hotline number is, all you need to do is get one of our rule brochures. We print this, these out every year and you can pick one up at our fishing game office or any of our vendors or the tackle stores. And if you open up this rule brochure and you go to this particular section here that says daily possession and season limits, and you can read down and we'll have the phone number right there for you. And so it's always nice to carry these brochures with you. It will tell you what the rules and regulations are at the beginning of the season. And then you can call the hotline if you'd like to, to figure, figure out if things are changing as we move along. From the Chinook page, Select Harvest Report from the menu on the left. Fish catch information is organized by each season, fall or spring, and by each river section. Catch rates are available for both adult salmon and jacks to give the best picture of fishing conditions. Setting rules and regulations. In between seasons, we have public meetings prior to seasons to provide information and take public input. Those comments are welcome any time of the year but we do kind of focus on the salmon season early in like late winter we'll have an early spring we'll have public meetings where we give information and, and take comments obviously to provide a high level of satisfaction we need to know what the public thinks and one of the most common approaches we use to gather public input is to have public meetings Typically these public meetings occur in February and they occur in towns that are located around where these fisheries occur now, if you have a hard time finding out where, when and where these meetings occur, you can either call up the regional offices that occur around these fisheries, or you can visit our website. We often post them there as well. There's other ways to comment as well. At times, we'll have questionnaires on our website that you can get into and provide your comments. Or you can always feel free to email or call directly to the regional offices and let the fish manager know directly what you think. Really looking at our website, calls to our offices to ask about the run timing is some of the best. Once we get into these fisheries, then we report on a regular basis how successful people are being. As a salmon angler, you probably have a few questions you want to ask before you head out to the river. One, how many fish are out there and where are they headed? As well as, what are the river conditions like? And there's a variety of web pages that you can use 
to get information to help you make decisions about how you're going to plan your trip and where you're going to fish. With regards to river conditions, the USGS web pages provide you real-time information on stream flow conditions and oftentimes water temperatures as well, which can be very important with regards to salmon movement. Really, I would say if there's any fish in the river uh, that, that we know about, it's time to go fishing. <laughs>